Hi everybody and welcome to Lake Gozao. Today I'm taking you on a travel walking tour to and around Fodora Gozaozei, one of the three lakes that are situated between the alpine village of Gozao and the Dachstein mountains and glacier which thrown over the whole region of Hallstatt and Gozao at an elevation of close to 3,000 meters or 9,800 feet. The mountainous region here has UNESCO World Heritage status and is one of the most visited and admired in all of Austria. So let's check it out. Lake Goza is a breathtakingly beautiful travel destination in Austria and it's become one of my favorite lakes in Austria. That says a lot because there are so many in the Austrian Alps and all of them are really, really beautiful. How do you get to the Lake Goza? The drive to Gozausen in itself is stunningly beautiful. You will likely either come from Salzburg, which is only a one hour drive away in the north, or from Hallstatt, which lies only 30 minutes to the east. If Hallstatt is your travel destination and you are looking for other travel destinations in the region, make sure you plan in a stopover at Lake Gozau. I will post separate videos on my visit to Hallstatt and the drive to Gozau, so check those out in the links in the description below. Gozau Lakes is only a short five minute drive away from Goza village, which in itself is a beautiful Austrian alpine village that is absolutely worth visiting. I cover Goza village in another video, so make sure you check that out in case you have not watched it yet. There's plenty of parking on the way up to Goza Lake and public transport is going up there as well. Once you are there, you will immediately notice the beautiful emerald green color of the Fodora Gozaose Lake. The snowy mountain peaks of the Dachstein Mountains and glacier reflect in the turquoise lake water, which of course makes for fantastic pictures. The many views of the lake and the massive mountain and glacier in the background are truly breathtaking and mesmerizing. It reminded me a bit of the steep jagged mountains in the Dolomites in Italy where you can find similar dramatic rock formations. So I'm in Gozausen now. Look at this magical view here in the Dachstein. The clouds. It's really beautiful. You can take a boat ride down there. There's a hiking trail that goes all around the lake. Absolutely amazing. Love it. There you see the glacier, that is snow all year round. So what can you do at Lake Goza in summer? Well, my first recommendation would be to take a walk around the lake. The main lake has an easy pathway around it that can be walked in 45 minutes to an hour. The walk is smooth, flat and offers plenty of benches for breaks. Many little waterfalls are crashing down the sides of the hills as you go. If you want to venture further out, you can hike up to the upper lake, which is an easy one and a half hour hike. This lake is even less busy and you will see cows casually wandering around. Thank 
You can also take a swim in the lake. There are designated areas where you can put a blanket down and go in. But beware that Gozaose is a mountain lake and is definitely cold depending on what time of the year and day you are visiting. If swimming in freezing cold water is not your thing, you may want to choose to rent a boat and explore the lake that way. If you're even more adventurous, go mountain biking, trekking, scuba diving, rock climbing, or try the Via Ferreira for beginners. Lastly, during the summer you can take the cable car up to the Zwiesel mountain to Gablonserhütte for a nice hike and enjoy a stop at the traditional alm. The gondola holds about 15 people and goes up about every 15 minutes. The return fare is 16 euros 50. Once up at the top, you can stop to eat or have some refreshments at one of the huts. And of course, you get a beautiful view of the lake from above. You can bring your own snacks and drinks and go for a picnic. Just make sure you don't leave any trash behind. There's also a restaurant that offers hearty Austrian dishes and a kiosk where you can get souvenirs, snacks and ice cream. And on this side here, if you get hungry, there's like a cafe and restaurant for some snacks. If you come by bike, you can ride your bike all the way up here, but you can't take the bike around the lake. So this is purely a walking trail up here. And now we have a great view of the glacier there. You can see the, the white snow up there. This is the Dustan Glacier. So when you come walking and hiking here, what should you bring? Well, definitely bring good and comfortable walking shoes. I'd also recommend a hat and sunscreen. Carry some layered clothing to adjust to different temperatures throughout the day. Also bring some snacks and a water bottle. Lastly, don't forget to bring your camera and have your batteries charged. There are so many beautiful pictures to take around the lake enjoying your walk that you definitely don't want to miss. So I think with this beautiful view I'm going to close this video. Thanks so much for watching again. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and leave me a comment below. Also make sure you like this video and I see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye bye. Thank you.